Okay everybody, so I'm over at my friend's garage here. I will not say where in Montreal, but because he's got such a humongous collection. It's very, very impressive. It's very extensive. He even was in the newspaper uh, a couple of years ago because it's just an incredible collection. It's, it's, it's got a Smithsonian quality to it, you know? You got your vintage uh, gas pump here. Got an old uh, racing horse uh, kids game here. Old foam boot, which, by the way, if I remember correctly, has a 1947 Montreal phone book in there. And uh, got an old old payphone there. Just lots of lots of great stuff, you know. These are great people. It's a family business. A father uh, uh, works with his son, you know, and they they're just great people. They're trusted, you know. And, and a lot of these frames you see here, most of these actually I put together and I sold them when I used to go sell my stuff door to door. You know. Ah, stupid focus. There we go. That's a big coat button. That's a few hundred bucks right there. Old Labatt Blue sign. That's what I love about that show, American Pickers. I learned a lot about antiques with that show. I mean, I found out that these old neon signs, they break easily for one thing. And secondly, even if they're restored, they don't light up the same way. They don't look as good. So, it's just a lot of fun, you know? And of course, like a lot of garages, they store tires. And, uh... Oh, and uh, my friend here, he loves old telephones. He has a hell of a lot of them. And uh, look, got an old national cash register here. The old barber shop. Uh, whirling sign, I don't remember what they're called. 19, uh, look at this, 1939 Wurlitzer jukebox. Gramophone. Uh, he loves war memorabilia. Um, oh, he's all over the place. I'm telling you, guys like this guy don't go wrong trees. Very, very unique taste, you know? Look at this, old skis. Again, more war memorabilia. Telephones, there's an old Pepsi machine, there's an old spotlight. There's an old safe. Uh, oh, he loves lighting, old lighting, uh, chandeliers. It's really amazing. Uh, really, really amazing. It's, uh... You know, you come here and it's, you, you just feel the history, you know, and if you don't like history, then you shouldn't come here. <laughs> and actually, I don't even want to know you, because you know what they say, you can't, you don't, you can't tell what your future's going to be if you don't know your history. And I find in time right now, they can't, couldn't be more true, actually. Vintage bicycles, it's just, this is, it's a working garage, but it's a museum, practically, you know. And I said practically, because it's not, so uh, that's why I'm not mentioning exactly where this place is. Uh, because, you know, this is going to be seen. Look, here's some more uh, ads here that I sold him. Lots of other trinkets. I can't film this too long because, you know, I'm working with a digital camera. And digital cameras, they eat up batteries like crazy, you know. And another bicycle here. got a few old cars too but they're stored away somewhere I'm hoping to do some cold starts of them uh, come the spring look at this here's an old circus uh, this is an old circus organ you know it plays like pretty neat and uh, and then we'll come over here the back room here and um, Again, more old lamps and uh, check out this guy here, eh? This is probably from China right here. This definitely looks Chinese. I'm sure that's not uh, not an El Cheapo item, you know? Beautiful furniture, accent furniture, you know? Look at this classic 50s television. What's the make on this guy? This is a... Uh, oh shit, it's a Crosley! Now, for those of you who don't know, Crosley also made uh, cars, actually. They made compact cars in the late uh, 40s, early 50s. American company, of course. And it just, just goes on and on and on. It's just amazing. 
Just amazing. It's beautiful. It's really amazing, you know. Um, my friend who owns all this is originally from Chile, and the story is is that he uh, he got into this because his grandmother was a collector and she gave him a first antique when he was a kid. So he obviously cherished that, and that's what really got him started. You know? So I'm just gonna finish by looking over here quickly. Look at this, here we got a nice old cigar ad. What does it say? My... Maestro. 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 Man, that looks old. Jeez, that could be like pff, almost 100 years old for all we know. Probably 1920s or 30s, I'd say. And, uh... Look at this. He even has an old carriage in here. It's really incredible. Anyway, that's about it. I want to save some battery power for the rest of my day there. And that's about all. Hope you guys liked it. Oh yeah, I should mention one last thing. Nothing's for sale. Don't bother asking me. Because even me, there's certain things I'd like to buy from him, but he won't sell it. He just buys and buys. He doesn't sell anything. So that's it. Anyway, have a good day. Bye-bye.